Hello! As you can tell by my insane hair, it's really blustery right now. That's also part of the reason the microphone is so close to my face. And the other reason is it's extra noisy because, as you can see, Santa Monica Boulevard is directly behind you. And Santa Monica Boulevard is always noisy. The last few days have been great. We got some projects shot. We made a lot of uh, progress on upcoming projects. I directed Anissa's film, which was wonderful, and uh, we actually finished on time without having to rush too much or cut anything we really wanted to shoot. Uh, the cast and crew were excellent. Um, it's amazing what you can do when you actually have a crew. Apparently, directors don't really have to do anything. It's wonderful. I highly recommend being a director. Uh, we're gonna, uh, Anissa and I are going to meet up and uh, look over the footage, pick our favorite takes, and uh, get, let the editor know sort of what we want out of it. And it, it really shouldn't take too long till it's done. Um, it's like science shot a movie spoof and a couple little gags, uh, including one that has a lot of effects work I need to do uh, that'll be uh, coming out over the next few weeks. Um, we're starting, uh, we're trying to get a backlog of videos now because we're committing to doing a vlog and a short every week. Uh, so you have that to look forward to. And once those videos are up, I'll link to this retroact or link them to this link this to them retroactively uh, so if you're watching this three months from now you can just click the link also if you're watching this three months from now why are you watching a vlog three months later am I really that interesting that's great if I am but if not I still want to know why you're watching this now anyway um, uh, beard with a beard is going well uh, we got the last of the audio I just need to uh, we need to plug that in. I need to finish with some of the little visual effects, but it should be done beginning next week. And um, I acted in the vault a couple days ago, and that was amazing and really fun. And uh, Mario finally met Mario. Worlds collided. Tears were shed. I'll never be the same. But the big news is that I now know all of the twists and turns. I know everything there is to know about the vault. So if you were to come to me... I would instantly spill it all with very little effort on your part. Um, so please don't ask me anything about it because I don't want Aaron Han to be mad at me. Speaking of Aaron's, today is Aaron J. Burt's birthday. So happy birthday, Aaron J. Burt. Um, also, uh, we, uh, we, I, I'm, I've been working on this script that Justin started that, that I sort of expanded that's almost done. It'll take a couple months to shoot, but it, you're really going to like it. It has a lot of different locations. That's why it's going to take so long, but it's hilarious. And uh, that's another one I will link to retroactively. Um, I, I wish I could tell you more about some of these projects, but I don't want to spoil any of the jokes. Um, so uh, February, I found out, is also a National Heart Month, so eat heart healthy and uh, at the very least, uh, eat that cereal that's sort of like Cheerios, but has the heart shapes in it. I really like those. I don't even know if they are heart healthy, but they have heart shapes, and they're really crunchy, so they're good. Um, the 12th is Darwin's birthday, uh, so Darwin Day. And uh, uh, I guess people have phylum feasts where they have meal extravagant meals with lots of different kinds of animals like genetic diversity and stuff and exotic things but that's sort of not really I, I mean obviously it's expensive but I also think that's probably not the most appropriate thing since we should be more concerned about conservation at this point um, another thing is apparently they make uh, primordial soup but I have yet to find an actual recipe for it so I don't know what it is I found a veggie recipe for it so I think it's just that it contains all the essential proteins um, so I might just make that uh, for fun. But yeah, uh, sit back with a nice hot bowl of primordial soup and celebrate science, because science is cool. On the 13th, it's uh, UNESCO's uh, World Radio Day. So listen to the radio, call people up on your CB that you have. Uh, if you have a police scanner, um, I guess uh, you probably shouldn't have that, because that's not really legal, I don't think. Um, Unless, of course, I mean, it's still illegal, but if you're like a superhero or a mass vigilante of some kind, I guess just appreciate the fact that you're able to get to the scene of the crime in time because of your police scanner. Um, at the very least, if you're driving by a trucker, do this, because truckers apparently exist for you to do this and for them to make noises, and that's fun. So do that. Um, of course, the big one is on the 14th, it's Valentine's Day, 
And I guess Valentine's Day is spread to the week before. Um, so we're already in the midst of Valentine's Week, which are as follows. Ugh. Rose Day, Propose Day, Chocolate Day, Teddy Bear Day, Promise Day, Kiss Day, Hug Day, and Valentine's Day. And if you're single, I would suggest instead of celebrating Chocolate Day, it's uh, the 9th is also Bagel and Lox Day, so do that instead. And I don't know why it's Bagel and Lox Day. I don't know why most of these holidays are when they are. So, whatever. I will see you next week. Bye.